Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe for lots of wire art and jewelry making videos. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make perfect stars with a little hack using a piece of paper. So for the first star, I'm going to use a 1.2 millimeter aluminum wire, which is about an 18 gauge. I have a piece of paper that's the length of one of the sides of the star and my tools. So because the aluminum wire is pretty easy to bend, I'm just going to bend it with my fingernail. So I'm just going to do the first bend like that and then take the length of the paper as a measurement. So if you don't have a ruler, you could just use a piece of paper and then with the nail, just bend it. And we're going to pretend we're drawing a five point star. So we're just going to keep going Imagine you're drawing a picture of a star. Like when we were kids, you can always print a template to get the hang of how to do this kind of star if you've never drawn it before, or you can practice drawing it on a piece of paper. And the paper just enables you to do the, all the sides the same size. So you see already how the star is coming along. And then this end, we're going to bend the opposite way so it's going straight up. Okay, we can throw away our paper. So this end, you can use pliers if you want. So that end is going to go straight up. And then we're just going to bend these sides in a little bit, you know, as you need be. And then just basically you want to twist this end around. You might need to help it with the round pliers just so it doesn't get kind of distorted and pushed over when you do the bending. Sometimes I like to start it with my round pliers and then just go like that. There you already have the star and then just clip the end. Okay. And then you want to form a loop at the top to hang it. So we're just going to get our larger round pliers and form the loop and you can just uh, twist it around if you want or just simply clip it off and push it in so it's flush and there's the first star. So for the second star I'm using a much shorter length it's about half an inch and then I have a brass wire and the brass wire doesn't make as sharp bends as the aluminum wire so I'm actually going to use my pliers to bend the wire so we'll start with one bend like that and we're going to use the paper just for the measurement. You can always use a measurement on your pliers but sometimes it's hard if there's no little markings on the pliers so we're just going to use the measurement on the paper and just hold it up there, put my fingernail in the place where the bend should be and then just bend it. So because this style of star is a little bit different, we're actually going to need to do kind of our five points like this. And just keep going with the points. So once you have like one, two, three, four points done for the fifth one, we're just going to hold the paper and then bend this up sort of in the opposite way because it's going to go straight up to form the loop. And then you want to connect them all together. So this is where it gets a little tricky. You're going to use your pliers because otherwise, because this wire is soft, they could be a little distorted when you uh, split them. So we're just going to very carefully hold it and kind of push it around because we want to form our star now. So we're just going to keep going around and the idea is just to keep going until those two connect, the other ends connect. Okay, we're going to bring that down a little bit. Now a little trick to know how to get it positioned properly is when you look at the star, this is going to be like one straight line. This one here will be like one straight line. So just imagine that that's like a straight line, same here, 
straight line and this one straight line. So that's how you kind of line them up. This is going to go straight up. And then the same thing as we did with the first one. We want to loop that around, but we're going to have to measure it, make sure it's the right length. Okay, that's going to go across here. And then help it with the round pliers. Just otherwise it gets really distorted. So we bring that around here and we just clip that off. I actually forgot my cutters. So at this point you could do a loop at the top if you want to make earrings or a pendant or you could leave it long if you want to make a magic wand. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you're not already a member of the Facebook group, please join us in the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook and share photos of your creations. And if you don't have Facebook, no problem. You could email me photos to info at heatherboydwire.com and I'll share them in the community section of the YouTube channel. And if you'd like to check out my wire art and jewelry in my Etsy shop, my husband and I specialize in wedding cake toppers and really funky special requests for jewelry. So I'll link up my Etsy shop below. And I also offer a wire art and jewelry course. So I'll link up the course below where you can learn some different techniques about uh, flattening wire for bookmarks. Also, I have a tutorial on how to make special coiled wire for beads. And I have my own technique on how to twist wires together to make really beautiful trees. So thanks for watching again and we'll see you the next time.